Arcane Season 1, Episode Number 5. And ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Arcane. And by God Almighty, am I fucking excited for it, man. This show has quickly become one of my favorites. Quite frankly, I damn near might say of all time, man. It's not my favorite of all time, but it's claimed a spot definitely in the top 15 already, you know? And we are only halfway through season one, halfway point-ish. I think there's nine episodes in total. I know season two has been confirmed. It's probably gonna be a little bit before it comes out though, unfortunately, but hey, at least season two has been confirmed, man. Last week's episode, fucking insane. Time jump. We seen Jinx, who she became, getting the full name Jinx, showing her craziness and stuff. And then at the end of the episode, we seen Caitlyn go to talk to Vi, man. Originally, it wasn't to talk to Vi, but it ended up being to talk to Vi. And that was kind of Vi's introduction at the end of the episode. I'm excited to see where that kind of goes. Because again, as I said last week, Caitlyn's from Topside. She's from, you know, the rich family. The, the she's, she's not prissy herself, but she's from that kind of prissy culture, I guess would be the best way to put it. And Vi, we know she's from the underground. You know what I'm saying? She, they're, they're, they're polar opposites. So if they end up working together, I wouldn't be surprised. Because again, I play League. I know the whole Vi and Caitlyn, Vi and Kate are chasing Jinx type shit in the game. So I would not be surprised, but I am super excited to see how that kind of dynamic works between the two, you know, with being being so different and her being from, you know, the underground, her being from topside, and we know Vi's views on people from topside and stuff like that, but maybe this will change it, man. I don't know what to expect going into this week as always, guys, but I'm super excited for it, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below if you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like. <coughs> oh my God. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full length reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys wanna check that out. Link in the description down below. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. I don't even know what the fuck happened there, bro. It's like I, <laughs> mid sentence, I damn near felt like I was about to start choking. A little marksman practice. I know Kate's nice with it, come on now. Mm. This is a flashback, huh? Caitlyn is a lot younger here. That was, uh, what was her name? Motherfucking, uh, I swear I wrote it down. Grayson? Who's hit it? She won? Damn, so I wonder how close Caitlyn was to her. I wonder how her death affected Caitlyn, man. Did my parents pay you to let me win? Mm. Yeah. That's a serious accusation. You held your shot. I saw you. Her finger wasn't on the trigger. No, your parents didn't pay me. I just thought you deserved it. So she let her win, but not because of her parents. For me, knowing how to handle this weapon means being able to protect people. To be of service to the city. That's trophy enough. Mm. Makes the question, young Kerman. What are you shooting for? Man. I kind of liked her character. We didn't get to know her too much, but seeing this flashback's making me wish we got to know her a little bit longer, you know, for a little bit longer. She did seem like one of the good ones, I guess, to put it that way. This is getting old. Can you just send in whoever's gonna kick the shit out of me so I can get on with my night? <laughs> She's starting to try and connect it all. Does this oh, she crossed that red line. Vi's gonna grab her, man. Yep, sure does. Where did you get this? You work for mm. Silco? Uh, they all do. How can anyone not know that? Where did you find this? <laughs> there was an attack. This is evidence. In what mad world would I trust someone like you? Someone like me? You enforcers are all the same. Just asshole criminals in fancy uniforms. You know what? Find Silco mm. yourself. I will. Thank you. <laughs> She's not an enforcer. Uh, is she technically an enforcer? She was in training, no? Or a cadet? You, uh, you want us to have a chat with her? No. Oh. <laughs> it's for her release. <laughs> Since when's he a counselor? Jace got her out. How many chats have you had with her? You know, I never even thought to count. The chats is when she's talking about getting somebody sent in to beat the shit out of her. Wow, she really got her out that easy. I mean, I guess now that Jace is a counselor. <laughs> she's trusting her, man. I mean, Vi's not really a bad person, per se. 
You know, so I, I, I think she'll help in, in this case because it's Jinx, you know, she knows it's Jinx. I wonder when if that really was the last time they saw each other, um, what's it called, when when everything went down on episode three, if she hasn't seen her since then. I wonder if uh, when Marcus took Vi, if he put her in prison and just left her there because they said there was no no record of her arrest or anything. So I wonder if he took her to prison. I thought maybe he was going to take her and save her because he was like, shit, we need a band together, but nah. <laughs> It's gonna be, I, won't, I wonder who's a better shot between uh, Caitlyn and Jinx, man. You know, I know I, I know they use different weapons, but like, I wonder who's got the, who's got the better shot, so to say. You know, Jinx is nice with it, but Caitlyn, shit, she was hitting some insane shots. Mm. For some, they are mothers, fathers, sons. This is the ones Jinx killed last episode. Daughters. He said daughters like that. I wonder if da I wonder if one of the officers there was his daughter. Who was this, Daddy? Grayson. A good woman. That you didn't fucking listen to. You said you could control her. I lost six officers. Six. Hmm. He's had a deal deal down here too, like uh, like how Grayson did. Shit. Another situation like this because of Jinx. Well, not because of Jinx, but involving Jinx. The firelights have been a thorn in both our sides. They ambushed my shipment at the Hex Gates on the same day as the attack. Mm. It seems to me the council has its culprit. What if I'm not interested in playing along? We've accomplished a lot together, Marcus. Sheriff. And there is mm. more yet to achieve. He's the reason he's sheriff, probably, huh? Marcus is still his bitch, man. That makes sense. Wow. Jinx, man. She's causing problems again. She was part of the first reason all this, all, all that situation went down back in the day, and now she's part of this reason. It's all going to go down again. This is a poor use of our time. I'm a counselor now, Victor. It's my responsibility to make sure the hex gates are safe and protected. And what about our pledge to improve lives for those in need, for the mm. Undercity? I wonder if Victor's gonna turn to the Undercity. <laughs> Fuck, Victor's getting more and more sick, man. What the fuck? Uh, the headache. That's... I need to get to the lab. Fuck, man. He wants to help the Undercity, though. You know, Victor does. I won't. <sighs> I'm kind of. I, I, I'm curious as to how his story's gonna come come together. God, dude. This is exactly what happened. Oh, she's having the flashback. She's realizing it was the same thing. Yep. Shit. She's realizing it's the same thing from way back then, man. It's going to set her off. She's going to snap again. No. No, it was a mistake. It was a probably got some serious PTSD from that man knowing she killed essentially her dad and her two brothers and lost her sister because of it like man that could be a good way to get a lay of the land too risky mm. she's gonna get a tour of the she's gonna get a tour of topside <laughs> yeah see this is gonna be interesting to see their dynamic man they're so different Polar opposites. <laughs> this is how Vi travels, man. She's used to it. She's moved through the Undercity like this. She's trying to see if she can keep up. I love the animation, dude. It's just fantastic. They couldn't have done a better job with it, I don't think. Damn. Back to the Undercity, huh? <laughs> Y'all really don't want smoke. I'm sure they know her, right? Well, she's probably not known around there no more. She probably hasn't been there in a minute. But <laughs> look, it's the same guy that was at the airship, isn't it? Welcome to the lanes. You almost got me killed. My little sister could do that when she was seven. I'll let Special Phil can. Don't you want to blend in? <laughs> yeah, she beat the shit out of them. <laughs> they think. They adapt. You think Hextech can learn? Like an AI almost. Are you sure this is safe? Of course not. 
Right. <laughs> but that's how we started all this in the first place. You know what I mean? Don't tell me you're changing, Jace. <laughs> Better than I remember. <laughs> Mm. There's your lead. That's how it works down here. We don't just sit down and talk. I right? we gotta keep stuff on the down low, you know. Vi's back in her natural environment, man. You've just made yourself everyone's common enemy, Jace. By becoming a counselor, man, because he, he's gonna be shutting everybody down, doing all this fucking corrupted shit, you know, for their own benefit. I wonder if Mel's a part of it secretly. I hope not, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jinx is a fucking savage. Dude, I want to see her and Vi talk again, man. I feel like it's going to be a long ass time till we see the like last few episodes. Damn. They did a good job of, uh, of the fucking flashbacks and like showing that shit and like the, the little drawings on the screen and shit. Looks good. She going to beat all her high scores, huh? Mmm. Barely couldn't beat her. Still just barely below Vi. I mean, Vi is the old assistant and shit, but... Again, everybody has the things they're good at, you know what I mean? Powder's powder and Vi's Vi. Y'all ain't gonna be two, two, two copies of each other. Well, that place does look like it has bodies buried in the basement. It's the last drop, man. It's gotta be hard for her to see it like that. You don't know anything. Yeah, that was her home. Literally. We're currently looking for new partners in our Hextech research. Mm. And as a supporter of House Talus, you'd be the first in line to any of our advancements. I mean, how can you say no to that when you've seen the Hex Gates, you know? I wonder how Victor's gonna feel about this. Kind of feel bad for him. He's been by a Jace since before anybody else believed in him, so I, I feel like there's gonna be a rift that tears them apart, which is this counselor shit and the politics and things that's gonna come into play. Getting everybody on his side, man. He's playing the game. Hibernating is like the only one who really ain't in on all this shit, huh? You expect everyone to give you what you want. If you mm. really want people to talk to you, you have to let them think you have what they want. And what do I have? You're hot, Cupcake. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Kate, this is so awkward for Caitlyn, man. She's so out of place here. Imagining yourself a hero. One final act to make you the martyr you've always seen yourself as. Damn. Ah! What the fuck? I didn't think he was gonna actually do it. Oh, he didn't. Okay, I was gonna say, man. Try and make a martyr out of him. Shit. I don't think he would go that far. I don't think Marcus would kill himself. You're the only one I can trust with his jinx. I keep seeing them that day. So Jinx is really the one he has working on that project. I guess, like he said, he can't trust anybody else. Have you heard anything about Powder? I think Silco has her. Mm. She she hasn't heard anything from Powder since that day. Wow. J Vi still cares for Jinx, man. I feel bad for Vi, man, because I feel like she's going to want to try and, you know, she, she still misses Powder. She's still trying to, she's been trying to find her, you know, but I feel like when she does, Jinx isn't going to want to find her, you know? She shot the person she thought was Vi last episode. The Medadas usually only take from the world. We're not often in the position to give anything back. That's why she's been trying to help him. Damn. I kind of felt like she was into him, man, to be honest. Like she had a thing for him. But this is also kind of, you know, even if she really doesn't have a thing for him, she's just trying to make a power play. It's smart on her part, too, to get, in, get him in her corner. She Are admires him. Home soon? I thought we could walk together. I'm uh, probably going to sleep here tonight. Again? I feel bad for her. She, 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 she has a thing for him, clearly. <laughs> My man Victor's in work mode, bro. The dude's obsessed. Yeah, it's just like you have the two opposites. JC's going to the side of politics and all that. He's, you know, I wouldn't say falling in love, but getting in a relationship. And then Victor's still here all about the work, all about the science. Is it like, it's like activating by itself, kind of, no? You need to let powder die. Mm. So the fear of pain will no longer control you. She's got to become Jinx for real. Damn, dude. And this is right when Vi wants to find her too. So when Vi finds her, Powder's just going to be gone. It's just going to be Jinx. Oh, the misery. Oh, the misery. Oh, the misery. Oh, the misery. 
Dude, I gotta add it to my Spotify, bro. Fuck. Like, this is such such a dope scene, and it's literally just the intro. Oh, God. Yeah, she's gonna be willing to talk to her and tell her about Jinx, I'm sure, because she wants Jinx gone, dude. Jinx has fucked him up a couple of times, you know? Fuck. But can Vi control her anger? Because she was there that day. Mm. It'd be so fucked up, man. He's got a daughter, dude. Do not do this shit. Just to become a martyr. Fuck. The doctors, um, they said me. How much time do I have? Damn, man. I don't want Victor to die. There's gotta be a way they're gonna use the... Oh, shit. There's gotta be a way they're gonna use Hextech to save him. Bye. She's back. <laughs> yeah. traitor. Vander had his chance. Shit. Mm. She's got a fake arm on, huh? Oh shit, no, that shit just injects into her own arm or what? No, that's literally like a robotic arm with that shit. What the fuck? She got a little upgrade. How did she lose her arm? Damn, man. That's just overpowered, dude. Before Vi would have beat her ass easily. Now it's a challenge. I hope Vi still wins. Fuck. Damn! Dude, I love how you can see how tired and fatigued they are. Like, sometimes it shows they just look like they're never tired. Damn. Okay, calm down, Vi. You need an interrogator, not killer. Fuck. Dude, Vi still fucked that bitch up. You know, with your fucking little powers and shit. Keeping her. You mean Jinx? She works for him. She's like his daughter. Damn. Eh, I wouldn't say like a daughter. I mean, kind of, but like in a weird way too, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Shit, Caitlyn's gonna save her, huh? No chance. Yep. Damn, man. You know Caitlyn don't miss. Yeah, Caitlyn don't miss, man. Three shots fired, three shots hit. Love it. Do you ever say thank you? He's gonna be eh? here now. Whose fault is that? Eh? <laughs> She's leaking. I'm, shot. I'm an excellent shot. <laughs> you gonna help me out, Cupcake? Stop calling me that. <laughs> My name is Caitlin. But Caitlin so Cupcake. <laughs> like a cupcake. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. I can already tell I love their relationship, man. Their friendship's funny as fuck. Dude, that's so sad, man. Fuck. This is, of course, this was the day Powder died, too, you know? So Jinx isn't even gonna care. And she's gonna figure all this shit out. She figured it out. Damn, bro. Look how fucking long her hair is, man. It's crazy. The sister. She's back. From the dead. <laughs> Not from the dead, bitch. Maybe Marcus was supposed to kill her and said that he did. Maybe Marcus told him he killed her, but in reality, he had her in prison this whole time. Damn, dude. I'm telling you, Arcane is top shit. Holy fuck, Arcane season one, episode number five is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a fucking episode, man. The animation in this show is on point, dude. I love the little fucking montages they do and the soundtrack fits it so perfectly, dude. And it comes out so well. The fucking, um, the action in this, like the combat, it looks so fucking good, dude. And I love how like you could literally see like how tired Vi was after that, you know, after their first couple, you know, hits on each other. You could literally see her like barely being able to hold her arms up. I love that they show the fatigueness. It's like in some shows or animated series and stuff like that. It's like the people never get tired or like their tiredness is just breathing a little heavier. Like you could see how tired she fucking was, man. The animation is just on point, dude. The animation and the soundtrack is fucking phenomenal. Not to talk about the story, you know, like the story in and of itself, just based on what I've seen thus far is fucking S tier. 
The animation, S tier. The soundtrack, S tier. The show, S tier. Like, this shit is insane, man. I love it. It's tragic as fuck. Thus far, anyway, but I love it, man. Like, of course, now that Vi is back, and I'm sure Jinx is gonna hear that Vi is back. It happens the same day that she kills Powder. I bet you if she didn't have that conversation with him out there in the water and didn't kill Powder, quote unquote, kill Powder, right? I bet you she, her and Vi would have had a chance to, you know, become sisters again. I know they've been through a lot and shit, but Vi still cares for her. Vi loves her, you know what I mean? And she, she just hasn't been able to come get her. She's been in prison that whole time, I'm assuming, you know, being held back so she couldn't. She couldn't really go after her now that she's out. That's the first thing she does is go for Jinx, obviously. And it just sucks because I feel like it's too late, you know? Like, Vi still loves Jinx, I, I feel like. And she obviously wants want, wants to be her sister still, you know? But I don't think that's going to happen when she sees her, man. And it's going to be so fucking tragic, dude. It really is. But, man, I just love the writing for this fucking show. Like, I don't know how this season is going to end or how season two is supposed to go or what, but this this season thus far has been fucking amazing man like just these last three episodes the first two episodes of the show like they hooked me and i was into it and shit and i was like okay this is pretty good i like the animation yada 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 but then episode three that was like the first holy shit episode that was just like fucking top tier and then episode four i thought was fucking amazing as well and then this episode fucking amazing as well man like the, the, just everything just hooks you into it and it makes you want to keep watching it more and more, you know? And it all feels so original too, you know? I mean, I don't know if there's another an animated series out there or TV show or movie that has a similar storyline to this, you know, obviously with different characters and maybe a different layout, but similar storyline. But I feel like I haven't watched anything that has a storyline like this, you know? And that's what I love about it because it feels so unique, it feels so fresh. And it's, it's like hard to predict what's going to happen next. You never know what you're going to get in the episode. I mean, some stuff you can kind of predict. Like I said, I kind of felt like Mel had a thing for Jace that whole time, you know, but I felt like he was maybe a little too young back then. Now that he's kind of grown up, she's kind of finally acting on that. Not only that, but it's a power play on her part. I, I like, I really hope she is being sincere. I would be very surprised if she wasn't. I mean, I know she talked about how her family, you know, was always kind of out for themselves and now she has the opportunity to help. So that's what she's doing. I hope that's what it is, man. But it'd be, it's kind of a power play to get him on her side. You know, he's kind of been there this whole time, but to kind of secure it and get in like a relationship with him. They gonna be like a power couple, man. They're both counselors too. Like, I don't know, dude. This show is fucking amazing, man. I love it thus far, and I, I can't wait to see how we continue to develop, man, with the character relationships, the world building, just everything about it is fucking insane, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, Link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.